non-conference kind of prepared us for, you know, a night like this, a great, you know, environment, you know, big crowd. You know, we played some pretty good non-conference uh, road games and we're still undefeated on the road. So I think that kind of prepared us. Um, we had our young guys, some guys step up, you know, off the bench, you know, under the circumstances. You know, we had the week off, the bye week. Um, after a loss to, you know, Marquette the last game, felt we were a little bit um, ready to, to, to kind of right the wrong from that, you know, loss. Um, we got off uh, to a good start this week with practice, but then it kind of dulled down a little bit um, because we weren't playing anybody. So we were excited to have the opportunity to play somebody else other than ourselves. And, you know, we had some great contributions off the bench. Thought uh, Drew Edwards came in and gave us a spark. He was able to, you know, not only get some rebounds and finish some three-point plays, but he also, uh, you know, he, I mean, he just played with a lot of spirit, you know, in a, in a low-scoring game like this. You know, Kyron Cartwright came in, gave us some great minutes. And then our leadership, you know, pulled us through at the end. You know, uh, with Chris and Ben, you know, we, we felt a little bit towards the end of the game that whoever had a chance to make a run, even if it was a small spurt at the end of the game, had a chance to win. And uh, I mean, this is this is the conference that we play in. You know, we think it's the best conference in, in basketball. And when you can win on the road in the Big East, you know, that's, uh, you know, as it's very satisfying, very pleasing because it shows that your team has a lot of toughness. We just really tried to simplify things. I think we had a lot of shots. I think both teams had a lot of shots, and we just weren't converting, you know. But um, we stayed confident, and I think that, you know, and Coach just mentioned it. You know, it was one of the uh, the pleasing things, again, you know, it shows the toughness of your kids that, you know, when they're going through a night like that where they don't have a lot of offensive success, they stuck with it on the defensive end. And, you know, a credit to both teams. I mean, they didn't, we didn't score a lot of points, and both teams were in it. Um, but we were able to, you know, at the end of the game, you know, we had our leadership. You know, this guy right here we think is the best in the country. And um, he came through, put us on his back, you know, with Ben. And we just had a, enough supporting cast to make sure that we were in a position to win the game. Uh, really just trying to make up for the mistake. Uh, my team lead, uh, the team leads on me uh, as a leader. Um, but really, it just, uh, I just want to appreciate the guys, you know what I mean, for believing in me as much as I believe in them. And really, it's not about me and about the last shot. It's about the group. And uh, the younger guys, they played a great game today. They stepped up. At one point in time, we had five guards on the floor, and we were just out there battling and fighting. So really, it's just a great team win for Providence. Uh, we just relied on defense. Um, that's the only thing you can do when you're shooting bad. Uh, we relied on defense, and we all knuckle up. And uh, that's why I love this group. Uh, we don't just worry about offense. We worry about defense, too. And we love playing with one another. So, I mean, you can just see it out there. Really, we just told him to play his game. Um, ben, he's been phenomenal for us uh, the last couple of games, uh, really throughout the whole season. And uh, really just telling him to play his game once he got comfortable and started to see uh, some of the shots go in, it was just back to normal. Does Coach normally get tired up with another team, so do you consider calling a timeout or giving him how to use his game just to give you the game when you're ready for the road? Well, it was a field thing for Coach. You know, a bunch of the assistants, we were over there yelling, you want a timeout? You know, he said, you know, he's good. I mean, when you have a guy like this and you put the ball in his hands, you know, um, it doesn't give uh, the other team a chance to maybe set up you know, play, you know, or think about what we're trying to do. And really, it was about getting the ball into, you know, the best player in the court's hands and letting them make a play. I uh, really just know my game. Um, really, uh, I worked on that throughout the whole season, uh, taking those type of shots with the, uh, the coaches um, just every day, just practice on shots like that. And um, just luckily, it just happened to go in. Uh, really just have to appreciate the guys for believing me. And God letting that go through. Feel good to make another ball. Uh, definitely. Anytime you make a game winning shot, that's the only thing uh, you can really think about. It's a blessing. Uh, it was an amazing feeling for uh, the group, the group and I. So it's just great to win. Uh, 
Um, kind of, yeah, definitely. Uh, Kyron, he came in. Um, he found the open guys. Uh, he's a great point guard. He's definitely going to be good for Providence in the long run. And uh, he allowed me to get some good looks. Um, so he did an a amazing job. Um, he had a little bit of uh, a vertigo, just wasn't, you know, feeling well. He had a, a bout of, with it um, a couple of years ago. Um, nothing serious, been checked out, everything's fine. Just, you know, it was a, a game time decision tonight. But uh, he did a great job of, you know, getting himself together today to address the team. Um, our preparation was the same as normal um, under the circumstances. So I thought that... Uh, I, I think he's doing fine, and I, I know he's feeling really well, but I'm really good right now. So. You know, we were doing whatever he wanted. You know, he's a, a fiery coach. You know, he's an emotional coach. He has a lot of spirit and a lot of drive. Um, it wasn't going to be long before he stood up. We knew that. So uh, I was there to do whatever he needed me to do, but once he stood up, we just tried to keep him up because with vertigo getting up and down is, is usually the, the biggest problem. Um, really, I mean, he works out every day. He's been feeling great. And it just came on. I, I can't tell you the answer to that. And yesterday, I think he was feeling a little bit.